zooming out on our map around our current location reveals a line we haven't seen in a while, a border. Guatemala awaits our arrival, but Mexico still has its strong hold on us. Chiapas could potentially be our last state in Mexico if we choose to skip the eastern section. It feels like Mexico has warmed up to us just as much as we have to it. If driving the longest road in the world wasn't enough, give yourself 100 days to build a 4x4 motorhome capable of such a task. 40,000 miles crossing every type of terrain imaginable through some of the most feared and remote regions on Earth. Just for something to do? No. For something to write books about. Something to relish in the aliveness of living on the edge of the unknown insanity. Something to radically expand our perspective of what the world is actually like and what is possible within one lifetime. I'm Matthew. And I'm Stacy. And this is Toyota World Runners. There is a, uh, what do you call that, a metric heap of birds? I don't know if they're vultures. It might be a type of vulture. We should look it up. Now more comfortable with our surroundings, the language, the culture, the beauty, we're finding it hard to want to leave. Our first few kilometers into Chiapas remind us of San Luis Potosí. Each state seems to have its own particular flavors, colors, and energy. Some thrive on the chaos, and others the slower alternative. The offensive heat of the Oaxacan coastline has driven us into the mountains in search of cooler weather. After diligently scrolling our maps, it seems we might have found the place. We made it to Chiapas, and we're at an epic waterfall that we can't remember the name of. Yeah, it's more of a canyon. It's not really. I don't know. There's caves. <laughs> uh, right now, we have to walk down eight to nine hundred stairs. In the heat. <laughs> it's not quite as hot as the coast. We waited till late in the day. It's like five o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Still warm though. Just kidding. We actually waited until the next morning. Yeah, because that's a lot of stairs to do at that time of night. This is going to be a lot better. Check out these caves. Okay, down we go. 800 stairs left. All the stairs are a little bit different size and they're slightly sloped down. It's just like a guessing game with your feet. This is Cascada El Aguacero. This beautiful treasure at the bottom of the canyon reminds me of a Zen garden, perfectly manicured, and it took us completely by surprise.
No, this iguana is not dead, and he's also not drowning. He, like us, is trying to beat the heat. Well, this is certainly another hard one to leave. Mm -hmm. We just never bring enough snacks. <laughs> That's the problem, yeah. The only reason to leave is because we're hungry. Damn, what an incredible place though. First few days in Chiapas. Loving it. Loving it. Ugh. Why is Nieves better than ice cream? Nieves is better than ice cream. I'm not sure why. So how does that waterfall rank on our uh, our expanding list? Yeah, they just kind of keep surprising us in different ways. Yeah. Back in the Chinook, we're excited to be heading higher into the mountains. Our destination today is San Cristobal, an elevation of around 2,300 meters. Just the thought of being at that altitude forces my foot a little harder on the gas pedal. After a grueling climb accompanied by some ear popping, we stick our hands out the window and grab the cold air. The landscape starts with dark hues of pine trees and fans out to white tiny squares of rooftops speckled with colorful windows and planted flowers. It already feels like we don't ever want to leave this place. The town greets us with narrow streets, surprise one-ways, and colorful paint choices atop cobblestone layers. Our first glimpse as we make our way to camp leaves a delicious taste in our mouths and we can't wait for more. tonight is nestled in an adventure park and the spot we are hoping for lays next to a river. The surprises this place holds are still unbeknownst to us. Perfecto. See? Gracias. As with the theme on most of our trip, we are the only ones here, and it looks like we're going to have this river spot all to ourselves. It's time to enjoy some solitude, put on warmer clothes, and let our heels dig into the earth. We picked a good spot. Light right now is just amazing. I know. What's our sign? 
Are you planking? This is the first time I've slept through the night in quite a few weeks. No stray dogs, no midnight mariachi music, just peaceful songbirds and the quiet sounds of the river. Perfect. If you're enjoying this video and you're not subscribed, I'd like to invite you to join our fam. It's free and it really does help us out. Well, solitude can't last forever, and it was time for us to sink our teeth into what this unique town has to offer. What did you buy? A nacho? Oh, it's good. It's good? Mm. I'm not entirely sure where it is. Now that I was feeling better, it was my turn to indulge. Worth Stronger. It. Worth it? Not as strong as our mess call. Gracias. Yeah. Mmm. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I call it tu fresa. De fresa? De fresa? Sí. Yeah. Gracias. Yeah. This liqueur, Posh, is native to the San Cristobal region, so it's only right that we try as many flavors as we can, out of respect. Waking up after a monumental tropical rain not only brought a sense of coolness to the air, but for us, a sense of adventure. It 
it seemed it was time to explore what was beyond our camp in this adventure park. When we entered the park, we noticed tiny, decrepit wooden signs that said Grutas. This is not what we expected. The beautiful limestone archway over the freshwater river leads to over 400 meters of caves, rooms, and balconies. We're going. And these pillars are crazy cool. It really does feel like another world. This outstanding landscape is a karst formation, which is where the dissolving of the bedrock has created sinkholes, streams, caves, springs, and these other characteristic features. It means that the rock types are soluble, such as limestone, marble, and gypsum. Wow, it just keeps going. It's easy to see how this geology can tell stories of prehistoric times. And today we got to create stories of our own. I love all the different formations that like the erosion causes. The figure of the Spider-Man. Oh. Oh. It feels so cool. What an incredible place, and one we never would have found if we had not left our camp to go explore. Hey Richard, I don't think you're the only one with the lamb cam. What's up gang? <laughs> 
they're really cute. So hairy. There's like one goat. <laughs> That's funny. You sounded like one there. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Our water getting ready for our next two weeks off grid. Yep. On the road again. <laughs> if this is your first time joining us, check out our entire Mexico playlist. We've been on the road for a few months now and there's some really exciting adventures in there. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot more to come. Mm -hmm. And if you've been here for the long haul, we appreciate you. Thank you all for being here. Thank you to our patrons for supporting us. We'll cool. see you in the next one. Yeah. Buy a dope shirt from our store. <laughs>If you've made it this far, I really do hope that we've earned your subscription. So go ahead and smash that like button and we'll see you next time.